Some coverage moves now to CBS 4's Joan Murray. She's live in Southwest Miami Dade with more on the company one of those planes belonged to. Joan? Well, I can tell you, Elliot and Ruta Bay, I've been inside. The mood is very somber. Uh, they were not able to supply too much information, no confirmation. They are also waiting to hear from NTSB investigators. Let's take another look at the crash scene where investigators are now trying to figure out exactly what went wrong, what could have caused this mid-air collision. Uh, we do know that Dean Flight Training School has had some trouble in the past. As word spread of the crash planes in the Everglades, dozens of students and instructors gathered at Dean Flight Training School. Inside, some wept, others left with questions. No, sorry, we don't really don't know anything. Little by little, we would lift up the wreckage and pull the victims out little by little to get them to get them free. Two months ago, another Dean plane crashed in a remote area of the Everglades, injuring two. And a year ago, there were two other plane crashes. An instructor and students survived after crash landing on Key Biscayne. And an advanced student was killed in early July 2017 after the school says he took a solo flight at night without permission. The plane that crashed, one of them was under his name. Michael Coppa believes his friend and instructor may have been on one of the planes crashing today. It's an awful feeling because I, uh, I'm not 100% sure how to feel yet. And I, I hold on to every bit of hope I can that he survived. There are three confirmed dead and four people in total, and I only pray that he was a person who, who had made it. According to their webpage, Dean said in over two decades, they have educated over 7,000 pilots, including over 1,000 from India alone, and that they are one of the largest, most prestigious FAA 141 approved flight schools in North America. And once again, we did try to speak to the owner here, and we were told no comment at this time. They would not provide any information on what, if any of their planes were involved or any of their staff. Much more on this coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting in southwest Miami-Dade, Joan Marie, CBS 4 News.